Hi everybody. Today we're going to show you exactly how we line up the artwork and the software so that it lands exactly where you want it to when you print a hat. Now let's load up the hat button. The most important thing to keep in mind is that our hat button matches up perfectly to the 7x8 canvas space in Garment Creator. The first thing we want to do right now is tuck the bill under the front bar. And then you want to tuck the sides in, starting with the right side and then the left side, even the whole thing out. Now you want to primarily focus on the print surface area. Once that's nice and smoothed out, you want to engage the locking bar and give it one last tug on each side. The way that we aim our artwork is we measure down the center. As you can see here, three inches down from the center is the end of the bill, and that's where the front panel starts. From three to six, you can print all of the artwork that you want. Now keep in mind, if you're starting down at the base, anything past three inches is going to start spilling over into the bill. You'll get the hang of it as soon as you start printing but typically we recommend 4.5 to 5 inches wide depending on how tall your artwork is. Now, let's get a good example going and we can take it over to the computer to show you how we would set it up there. Okay, now that we're in Garment Creator, the first thing you wanna do is go up to the layout settings. Then you wanna change the platen size to what they call the extra small platen. That's the seven by eight canvas area that we need. From here, you can see why it's important for our platen to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio with the software. Because as I mentioned, the base of the software here is the base of our platen. And just like we had measured, one, two, three inches up from the base is where the brim ends. And then four, five, six inches from there is where the top panel is from our hat. So if you have your artwork, you want to place it down the exact center of the hat between three to six inches, if you want it on the front panel. If you want your artwork to start printing down the bill, you would simply put it anywhere between six inches and closer to half an inch up from the bottom, or even possibly one inch up from the bottom, depending on where you want your artwork and your desired effect. And that's it. It's very, very, very simple to aim your artwork, especially when you keep in mind that our platen has a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to the software that comes with your printing machine, given that you put it on a seven by eight canvas space. Now for this example, I wanna print my artwork a little less than two inches tall, which you could see here. And I wanted to print at the highest point possible on the hat, which is the six inch line right here. So six, five, four. It's gonna print between four to six inches from the bottom. And as you could see here, it's a little bit less than two inches. If I wanted this to be a little bit bigger, I can definitely extend it to make it a little bigger. Or if I wanted to drop it down and make it a little bit lower, I can definitely do that. But for this example, let's hit print and let's go to the machine to watch the finished product. Now that we're on the machine, we already know exactly where the artwork is gonna print. It's gonna be between four to six inches from the bottom. We also know that the height is a little bit less than two inches and it has a corresponding width. Now say for example that you print the hat and you maybe want it a little bit lower or you want to make the artwork a little bit bigger, that's completely fine because in the software you can make the image a little bigger. Now if you wanted to move it down a little bit, say three and a half inches from the bottom, all you would have to do is move it a little bit closer to the three and a half inch mark in the software and you're ready to go. Like we mentioned earlier, it's seven by eight inches in the canvas in the software as well as here in person. And because of that one-to-one -one aspect ratio, you know exactly where the artwork is gonna land every single time. And there you go. It's exactly where we told it to print. Between four to six inches, two inch height, corresponding width, down the center of the hat. It's very easy when you know there's a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, but Let's say, for example, that you wanted to print a little lower next time. Maybe you wanted it to start down at three and a half inches. What you would do is move it down in the software, down to the three and a half inch line, and then it's gonna start printing up from there. But the overall goal of this is you wanna know exactly where the artwork is gonna land before you print your first hat. 